Let's step up close and see if the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> it's not gonna be. <laughs> it's, it won't be. All right, we are back in Kenshi with Azagami and his crew, who in the last episode accidentally raided the Dust Reaper headquarters. We've been exploring the border zone. We haven't been here in quite some time. And we stumbled upon an entire army of Dust Reapers who were squatting in an old ruin that they have now claimed as their headquarters. So we got into a scuffle with them. We downed every single one of them, but we did not find a leader. I don't know if there is or isn't one, but we've been here healing up in this way station for a couple of days, and I took a couple of people back to uh, rummage through the bodies, and I didn't find any specially named people or anybody who looked like they might be a leader. So they might not have one, or it could be like the Dust King, uh, where they slipped from our grasp, and we'll see them in the future if we ever come back here. But as I mentioned, we have been here for a few days. There's only a couple of beds in this town, and so we've been taking turns healing up. We took quite a beating in that battle. Uh, but this place has been getting raided non-stop by just about everybody. There are so many dust people in this region now, which I guess is our fault. We captured, or yeah, I think we captured and turned in the Dust King. And um, that has just left a power vacuum here. And there are a bunch of dust folk <laughs> vying for power. It does pose a particularly interesting possibility. Uh, one of the medium-term goals I've had is to uh, set up an outpost somewhere, finally, which is part of what we're doing. We're kind of exploring some of the places I haven't seen, just to make sure we put it, put something in the right place. I'd like to see everything before I decide where to put something. But this used to be our home, the border zone. We, we lived in the hub. It was the first place. We bought a house inside the hub and then eventually had to flee because that place was getting raided too much and we were too low level. But it would be pretty interesting to come back here and maybe be a force to be reckoned with here. We are certainly big enough. Maybe set up an outpost and deal with all of the various dust people. There's like dust raiders, dust reapers, and still some dust bandits. And I guess without the Dust King keeping them all in check, they're all trying to rise to power and prominence. You know, also if we set up an outpost out here, it'd probably push us into further conflict with the Holy Nation, who we have certainly some, some issue with. They enslaved us, but we kind of left it at that. We escaped and made our own life, and sometimes that happens, but it would certainly be interesting if something narratively pushed us back towards fighting with them. But on that note, uh, we're going to continue today with exploring the border zone. We're all healed up, as I mentioned. This place has been raided a couple of times, but we've pretty much stayed out of it. Packy took a few lumps, but he'll be fine. But if we get through all of the exploration here, there's like four or five more spots to check out that we haven't been to in a while, and I expect they're probably all going to be dust headquarters. We'll see what happens. But if they aren't and we get through that, uh, we're going to start pushing north because, like I said, I've never been to... I mentioned in a previous episode, I haven't been to the Leviathan Coast not to explore ever before. So we might push through the Holy Nation territory, and that might give us a good reason to come back and put an outpost here or maybe at the edge of, of some Holy Nation territory area. We'll see. But either way, like I said, the plan today is we are going to head out into the border zone to explore the last four or so places. What do we got? We have a tiny settlement and the Dust King Tower, which is probably filled with dust people, and the Tower of Ninjas. And then we might, I don't know, we might check out these holy mines. I don't think we went to the Rebel Base, but I know we fl in one of the last episodes we fled the hub because we <laughs> accidentally got into a scuffle in there. So we might not go back there. That's the plan. We're all ready to go. So I say let's set a waypoint out by the tiny settlement and we'll see what these guys do. Yeah, so like I mentioned, while we were healing up here, this place was attacked like three or four times by Dust Reapers and Dust Raiders. And I think we even saw some White Eyebrow Clan, which I don't think we've ever seen push into the hub before. I guess we left this place in a veritable mess. It pretty much is our fault. <laughs> you break it, you bought it, I suppose is the saying. If you remove the head of the evil faction, you better be prepared to put something in its place to maintain stability or it will not be stable. And I guess that's what we've left here for these people, unfortunately. It does kind of set that up narratively, like I said. It, has, it kind of makes a, a good excuse to possibly set up something here and restore order. We've wanted to be good people, and we really are slowly descending into that, that concept of, you know, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. We initially wanted to be the, the bastion of safety for all ex-slaves. <laughs> I find, like, we, we're, we're the only people we're allied with are slavers at this point. <laughs> it's like, that's it. And what do we have here? Some Dust Raiders. Mmm. Well, they're pretty low level, it seems. I mean, their stats aren't bad, but we'll be fine. Um, does everybody have a weapon? That was one problem we had had. Chad doesn't, but that's fine. We're going to leave him without a weapon. What is your crossbow skill? Your crossbow skill is amazing. Anabuki. Go loot this Dust Raider. Get yourself some crossbow gear. 
Done. All right, we got the new guy a crossbow. Their their crossbow skill is actually really good. It was like 40. Which is surprising for a new recruit. Usually everything's one. Oh, we got people on the ridge line, and this is exactly where we're heading, and they're already fighting. Who are you? You are, I see, Dust Reapers. Dust Reaper, Dust Servants, fighting Dust Raiders. Hmm. What's it look like in here? Are they in here? Is this their place now? What do we got? Ruins? What is this? Dust Raider Headquarters. <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, it doesn't look like there's too many people in here. I guess the Dust Reapers are fighting the Dust Raiders. I guess that makes sense. Oh, uh, do we run in and raid the... Oh, here they are. Here they are. I was wondering where everybody was. Oh, they're all ranged. That's going to be a pain in the butt, huh? Let's step up close and see if the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> it's not going to be. <laughs> it's not, it won't be. Now, the curious... Oh, you know what I should have checked? Do they hate us? I mean, they're going to... Negative uh, 10. They're going to. Dust bandits and dust reapers really don't like us. All right, let's go check it out. I mean, whatever. Do we want to just leave this so that they terrorize this place? We did see them raiding the way station. I guess it's the least we could do. I guess we're going to go... <laughs> we're going to go raid the dust raiders headquarters. The raiders become the raided. Can we talk to any of them? No, there's no talk. Bubbles, there's nothing. I can first aid them. Can we sneak in and first aid them and make them friendly? <laughs> Alright. There's a bunch of them all in there. I don't feel like getting crossbowed to death. Maybe we just run in and see what's in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to do it like this. We're going to put them all on group run so they stick together in a clump. And we're going straight into their base. Run, 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 run. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, someone's fighting inside their base. Interesting. Are there intruders? Get them. There they go. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was wondering if that was going to happen. No, get inside. Get in there. Get in there now. Don't fight out here. Who, Who's hitting that guy? Oh, boy. Okay, what's it look like? All right, it's not awesome. It's a lot of ranged. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's an interesting little... This is something I've always wanted to do, is start an entire clan of people who just used ranged weapons. Like a big, giant ranged... For this is going to be bad. This is... It's already not good. Look at us. <laughs> All right, let's hold on. Before we lose everything, let's see if they have a leader. Dust Raider. Dust Raider. Inu. All right, there's Joyless Paste. There's another named person here. There's two named people in here. Sad Hirodo, Boss No. Hmm. And they have a bounty. We're going to set to attack Boss No unprovoked. And we're going to check the rest of them while we're here. Garlico has an even higher bounty than Boss No. Hmm. We got we to gotta, we gotta not lose sight of Garlico. Misery the Punchy. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a few bounties in here. All right. Good. This has even, even more of a draw for this crew. Boss Shemako. Interesting. Drunk Jared. All right, it's a bummer that we're having to kill these guys because these guys rule. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's not lose Garlico because he's the one with the biggest bounty. Let's get a look at Azakami, see what he's up to, and we'll get in here and start fighting. In they go, right to Garlico. Take him down. Oh, we're taking some swipes. Not ideal. Dust Raiders are now hostile towards you. All right. Everybody. Attack all. We're in here. We're getting just, just walloped. Walloped. A huge fight is breaking out. I'm seeing bigger green numbers than red numbers, but a lot of red numbers. <laughs> All right, Dust Raiders are dropping all over the place. That's fantastic. Chad is bleeding. He's not doing great. He's probably the one that's hurt the most. Oh, we got some bloody people. No, 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 no. Everybody stay in here. Stay in here. Everybody in here. Heal each other. All right, we got... Yeah, there's some people behind the wall. They're taking care of them. Beautiful. All right, heal up. All right, they're getting antsy. They're going to run outside and start attacking people. Oh, nice. They all came inside. All right. There's no one left outside. Okay. 
Uh, they are hostile. Are they not? Oh, they are the most hostile. <laughs> all right, I guess all of these build, all these ruins are just going to be taken over by dust folk. Oh, I didn't check where their bounties were for. We got to check that too. And we're going to steal all their stuff. It's not our home any longer, but you know, come on. What did boss know? Where's his bounty? Check kingdom, the holy nation, and the United States all the same. Okay, that's good. We could run these guys back to Squin. Might be worth it. Looks like it'll be about 10,000, a little more than 10,000 in all. These guys are going to start getting up, but I don't really care. We're going to be looting all their stuff. And in the meantime, I'm going to search through all their stuff. They're also ranged. They have garbage ranged weapons, but uh, our new recruits are pretty much all using ranged and using garbage ranged weapons. So it looks like our team might have some good stuff coming their way. We grabbed all their bounties, got the team all fitted out with bolts. Let's see what they were holding on to. Anything good? Oh, I got some food. Not bad. And more food. All right, they keep food in their lock chest. That's fine. I suppose that makes sense. That's probably what's most important to them. Oh, people are getting up. <laughs> Fighting starts again. Naganuma, don't get distracted off your task. Oh, interesting. Lots of food. Oh, Nakama went down. Boo. Everybody outside and into the center of town. We took all their stuff. We got their people. And it appears there is a singular Holy Nation slave monger just in town here. Let's walk over here and see what he does. <laughs> oh! Skeletons! It's the second extinction! <laughs> is he going to attack? Or is he running? What is he doing? He's assaulting. Who are you? Are you just going to attack one of our teammates? Oh, no, you're just going to start a fight. All right, well, good luck to you, my friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, we can't let that go unpunished. We got to take your stuff from you. We'll leave you with your, uh, with your t-shirt and pants and you can hang out. He's unconscious. He's losing blood rapidly. He's not going to make it. They didn't have much. They basically just had food. But we got their, uh, their people. Let's make sure they're, they're okay. They're dying. Okay, that's not awesome. Takiyasu, why don't you first aid boss no? We'll rob them of their goods as well. Make sure they are without weapons or armor. And then we are going to take them. I guess we'll take them to Squin. We still have other places we want to check out, but rather than lugging these guys all over town, Dust Raiders are no longer hostile towards us. That is <laughs> hilarious. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. That's a, they went from very hostile to to just kind of liking us just a little bit. <laughs> hey, hey, you're not supposed to be hostile. Stop it. Stop being hostile. We're trying to help you. All right, whatever. All right, the team took a few lumps, but we're all healed up. We've got our prisoners, and I think. We are going to take them. We'll set a point back to, uh, where's Squin out here? Where is it? We'll set a point back to the crossroads near Squin. We'll turn them into the Shek Kingdom. The Dust Raiders like us just a little bit. Because <laughs> we... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. More Holy Nation and they're hostile. Holy Nation slave mongers. All right. Looks like we are going to be fighting our way to the Shek Kingdom. Mmm. All right. It happens. Attack the slave mongers. Put them down. Oh, look at those hundreds. Who's doing a hundred damage? Who is that? That was fantastic. Uh oh, I put them on attack all. I guess there's more holy nation here. All right, we're going to set our waypoint again. I think the team caught some sight of other holy nation members because they started running. I set them to attack all because there was just two guys there, but as soon as they downed the two guys, half the team started running out in this direction. So we might be running into some more Holy Nation, but whatever. Bring it on. I say, especially in the border zone, they really shouldn't be encroaching into this area. This is also probably our fault <laughs> for destabilizing the region. But we didn't take any lumps, and somebody on our team is doing 100 damage melee. I gotta pay more attention to that. We've got a few really good weapons. We've got some, yeah, Me Too weapons. 
Yeah, so we're gonna make like 12,000 bucks here. Fantastic. Makes it worthwhile beyond being morally worthwhile. The one thing I don't completely love about this area is the canyon layout. It makes the camera very wonky in a lot of places. Not everywhere. Some places are just fine. It does look cool, though. But it might be nice to pick, like, a giant plateau. Like, right in the middle. Maybe, like, here. A gigantic plateau. That's, that's not very central. Maybe here. And just build something insane. Could be fun. It certainly would be eventful. What's the, um... Let's prospect real quick. Oh, wow. Fertility's fantastic. There's no stone, iron, or copper in this particular spot. Decent wind. I don't know how you raise your prospector skill. I've been prospecting for two real-life years with this character, and his prospector skill has not gone above one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just got a random notice. The Dust Raiders are now hostile towards us, and they are 100% hostile again out of nowhere. <laughs> Idiots. Whatever, pal. Be hostile. Go ahead and be hostile. It looks like the Dust Reapers have reconvened. I love that they take their own people's slaves. There's no allegiance whatsoever. I don't see an entire army. Do they even have a guard out front? No. We'll leave them for now. There's no one on the roof. It'd be interesting to step in there, but like I said, I already, I already came back here sneakily while they were all still down. Well, we're going to leave them for now. If they come fight us, so be it. If their army comes back out, I guess we'll stop and deal with them. We're trying to get ourselves to Squin to make $12,000. And then we will head towards the Dust King Tower for sure and the Tower of Ninjas. Well, I don't know that we're going to try to make enemies out of the Tower of Ninjas. We went back there once, and I think they tried to attack us on sight. We might just leave them alone. But the Dust King Tower, I'm going to imagine, is filled with whatever other dust group... And we'll see if they've got bounties, and if they need raiding, so be it. <laughs> if that's what they're looking for. Man, I really cannot wait to see what they do with a new engine. It is it is maddening to have to wait so long. I mean, the other game took 12 years. You just, you know, you don't know until it's out how much you like it. <laughs> so for me, it took five minutes. I saw the game and decided to download it. Now I have to wait however long it takes them for, to make, for them to make the game, but... Very curious to see if they take any of the ideas they've had in this game and, like, flesh them out even further. I am so supremely keen on interacting with and affecting the world even more. Like, I really want, like, political intrigue between these, like, major factions and to affect that. More than just, like, going up to a leader who's like, hey, you know who you could kill for me? Because it's kind of about all I've seen so far. There might be some more interactions, but... We've talked to a couple of people, at least in the United Cities, who were like, you know who's a real thorn in my side? Why don't you go kill him for me? It'd be really nice if you could, like, destabilize trade and economy and, like, actually affect things in the world. Kidnap people, ransom them. <laughs> the gameplay loop in this is simple, but, like, the possibility is complex. And it's very sandbox-esque. Like, you can kind of make your own... You obviously make your own fun with this game. Like, you... you I get the feeling sometimes that I am affecting the world, but it'd be nice if I was more explicitly affecting the world by gameplay mechanics. But it's probably going to be quite some time before we see anything. Anything more than we've seen already. Squin is in sight. Man, I will tell you, if it wasn't for the camera in this game being so wonky, this would be such a good area to settle regardless. It's just such a pain to kind of wander around through in some of these canyons as the camera just kind of goes all over the place. All right. Oh, you know what? We all have zero dollar wanted. Like, just about everybody is wanted in the United States for zero dollars. Interesting. <laughs> okay. There's a couple of people in here. Wanted in the Sheck Kingdom for zero dollars. Well, we're going to risk it. <laughs> we're heading in. We'll head up to the front gate, see what they do. We've been in here before. I don't think anything's going to happen. And that should have that should have gone away so long ago. I don't remember what it came from, but we did something around here. I think we came through the Sheik Kingdom and got into a fight with somebody. But we're wanted for zero dollars. Hopefully that doesn't mean we have to get arrested for zero dollars. <laughs> Bail ourselves out for zero dollars. Cats won't buy you power here. Mm, you, flat skin, are they going to come search our bags? Alright, come on. Bag check. Don't we have Sheik on the team? No, I don't think we have Sheik walking with us. Smuggling checks, open your bag, Flatskin. We show them our gear. You may pass. 
Nice. Sometimes they shake you down further. But this time they did not. Get into the center of town. We're going to rest up here. Everybody's a little bit banged up, I think. But first, we will drop off our bounties. Beautiful. $254,000. We are sitting pretty. Nice. All right. We do have people in need of healing, right? A couple. Uh, yeah, we got a few. All right, we'll go hit the bar. We'll head to the bar. Let those who need to rest, rest. We might do some uh, shopping around here, too. What? Can't stand this. What are we waiting for? We're warriors, not peasants. Is this a... Uh, oh, I thought these were Holy Nation. Hmm, thank goodness. All right, well, the team's all healed up. There's not much going on in Squin. So we're going to set... Uh... Waypoint by the Dust King Tower, and we'll see what they do. I expect it will be filled with dust raiders or dust bandits, and here's some more dust people who have been making their way in... Is it? It is. Plank. Dust bandit. There have been dust folk making their way inside here one by one as we've been trying to rest, but the Shek Kingdom does uh, really good in dealing with them, so we haven't had to help. We'll head out to the Dust King Tower see if anybody has uh, turned it into dust something headquarters and then we might head over to the tower of ninjas just to see if it is indeed filled with ninjas and not dust people <laughs> we're not going to raid it i'm not trying to make enemies out of the ninjas they already don't like us if i recall correctly i think we went over there and they they started attacking us we may have gone in there last time we came through here but more interested in starting heading north as dangerous as that's going to be as we all, as many of the team members who were once imprisoned in Rebirth, have very high bounties in the Holy Nation, but so be it. It just basically means we won't be able to make use of their cities and towns to rest and heal should we need to. It also means that if they see our skeletons and our women, <laughs> we may end up getting some more bounties, but whatever. We've already seen them making their way into the border zone, which, not cool. What's that other spot where they fight all the time? What is that called out here? I always forget. Bast is the other spot. That'd be another a good spot to like set up a camp and just kind of like beat them back out of this area. I'm sure that they just spawn there no matter what, but it'd be kind of cool in like symbolically protecting United Cities where we call our main home and our main base, protecting that region set up an outpost there something to think about we're not doing it today i have actually i think they should be done let's take a look i set the team to uh replace all of our walls yeah we have now concrete walls and concrete gates not the interior we're gonna leave that as just the old makeshift gates as they are that's fine now we certainly are formidable i'm not keen on putting people outside like the game does the game usually puts people out here to guard Mm, I don't know how keen I am on doing that. So we still got him inside the gates. I gotta sit down with that for a while. Probably off camera. It's super boring. I try to every once in a while do some, like, building as part of an episode, but just editing it always looks, just looks so boring. <laughs> no matter what I do, if I talk about it, what I'm thinking about, what we're doing, it still is just kind of shuffling through menus. But at some point, I probably gotta sit for, like, a week off camera and just start building stuff. I wonder if the hub's still gonna be angry with us. Do the Holy Nation Outlaws don't like us just a little bit? Ooh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. And I think we caused that by getting into a bar fight in the hub. Hey, it happens. And it looks like we are about to run right past the hub. Mm. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> we gotta go this way anyway. I mean, we could have gone through the valley, I suppose. I don't know why they chose this way, but whatever. We'll leave the team to do their thing. Nobody has seen us. Nobody has come to attack us. Hopefully they just leave us alone. I don't know if negative 15 is enough to attack on sight. We're not going to go inside. That is our house, unfortunately. <laughs> Building on the outside there. Oh, we are sprinting. Why? Are we about to run through Dust Reaper Village? We are. Mm. Dust Servants. You've got some good gear and some decent stats. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, these are the ones that are hostile. None of them have names, and none of them have bounties. What a bummer. Let's do this. Let's get the one that's attacking us. We'll attack all. Actually, we'll take Packy. Where are you, Packy? 
Let's get you up on the ridge all by yourself. And you can get off of staying close. And we'll let the team rush in. Oh, who, wait, hold on, hold on. Who is doing that hundred damage? I missed it because of the damn camera. Oh, oh it's got to be one of these Me Too weapons. I'm going to keep an eye on that. I am so curious. We're all doing pretty decent damage. My word. Man. Not bad. Oh, goodness. Look at us go. Just destroying these guys. We might use your sleeping bags. <laughs> if I can. Alright. No, 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 no. Everybody over here. Everybody over here. Attack that guy. Oh, oh, who was that? Who was that? Was that Waki? Or was that Canoe? That can't be Waki. What do you have, Waki? A Fragment Axe, Mark III. What do you have, Canoe? A Falling Sun, me too. Hmm. It's probably the Falling Sun. That is interesting. That's like harpoon territory. That is craziness. All right, over here. Why are you running? Oh, because there are dust people <laughs> coming down the hill. This is where the tower is, isn't it? Where is it? It's up there. Everybody just hold here. Hold here. Hold here. You know what? Why don't you heal each other up while you wait? Heal, heal, heal. Let them get close. Let them get close. Let them get close. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Attack him. Put him down. Oh my god, we're getting hit by our own crossbow bolts. Alright. Don't run off yet. Ah, uh, here comes some more. Dust Reapers. Are they coming from here? It doesn't seem like they are. I don't see a, a line of these guys. And this whole thing's destroyed. This doesn't even have Dust Reapers in it. It's got Holy Nation Outlaws in it. Alright, well we're not- we'll leave these guys alone. We're not gonna come up here. We'll leave them alone. We're not trying to make enemies out of these guys. They're not even guarding their own walls. They're literally just just nervously hanging out in here. All right, we will do them the favor and deal with all of these dust reapers that come this way. Attack that guy. All right, I don't think it was Waki. Waki just did 66. Don't you hit Packy. How dare you? I see you lining up on him. Packy, get out of the way. Beautiful. Are you running again? Where are you running to? Hold on, let me let me follow one of these guys. Shrike, where are you going? Ah, where are they coming from? Do they have a camp? Oh, there's a little camp there. No, but that's where we are. Where where do they keep filing out of? Everybody just hold here, because we're gonna make use of these sleeping bags and we're gonna deal with the stragglers as they get up. Alright. We'll attack that guy. Oh, what a hit you took, Shrike. Ugh. <laughs> Chad's in there. With his karate. <laughs> Don't you run away. Alright, that was the last one. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Okay, cool. They're healing each other. Alright, the team's all healed up. And I think we're gonna go take a trip out to the Tower of Ninjas and just see what it looks like out there. Like I said, we're not looking to start a fight with them. I, I feel like we might have raided that base before. I forget. It's been so long. I don't know when I was last out here. But we'll see what it looks like out there. If it's filled with ninjas, we'll leave it alone. If it's filled with Holy Nation Outlaws, we'll leave it alone. But if it's filled with dust people of any kind, <laughs> we will uh, we'll try to clear it out. It's the least we can do. At least until we find a leader of any of these groups. Oh, and who is this? Nines of the White Eyebrow Clan is critical. And why is that? Did you just fight with the Nomads? <laughs> They're both not doing good. Let's see what they do. Looks like they, they decided not to mess with us. Wise. How do they feel about us? I don't know. They don't like us just a little bit. I don't know if they're good, bad, or indifferent. Why don't we do this? Let's break off and let's heal them. Let's give some first aid. Maybe have them like us just a little bit. All right, there you go, gentlemen. Head on about your business. Your friend's leaving you behind. There you go. Did they care about that at all? Not at all. <laughs> they didn't even give a crap. All right, whatever. Yeah, normally when you first aid for somebody in front of their allies, it improves relations. That's how the um, 
Dust Raiders went from a negative 100 to positive, or I guess zero, and then back to negative 100 out of nowhere. All right, where is the tower? There it is. And who is fighting? Dust Reaper Camp 456 has been wiped out. And the Black Dragon Ninjas are fighting some goats. All right. Black Dragons. Do they hate us? No, they're kind of just okay with us. Uh, I don't care then. Let's, uh, let's push north. You know what? Let's do this. Let's run through their cities. We're not going to take the team inside, but maybe we'll push north and see what these areas are like. Let's push north. And we might send team members who don't have $23,000 bounties <laughs> into the cities just to see what's going on. We have male Greenlanders on us. Yeah, oh yeah. Our whole like front line is male Greenlanders. And they can carry a lot. They all have um, high strength. We could send them in to get bolts and things that we need. But I don't think we've ever been into any of these cities. We've just run past them in fear, so... Mayhaps we will head that way. Make our way north. See what exactly it is we're up against. What are these slave traders? Yeah. See exactly what it is we're up against if we ever do um, have to tangle with the Holy Nation. Nomad fighting a Dust Hound Alpha. All right, if we go that way, we'll lay it. Lend a hand. Oh, Carbolin, did you die? No, let's break off Takiyasu to first aid Carbolin. Everybody except for Takiyasu. Let's attack all the Dust Hounds. We can take their meat and their pelts. Team's doing fine with that. We're getting a little banged up, but it's okay. Alright, they are done with. We'll heal up a bit. Oh, there's still more fighting. Where are you going? How about don't? Ah! The White Eyebrow Clan has decided after all that they would like to attack us. How about that? Alright. We'll deal with this silly fellow. I think he's already down. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Alright, the team took a few whacks, but we're good enough. We're going to keep heading north. We're going to get to the edge of uh, Holy Nation territory. We'll pass this other White Eyebrow Clan member. See if he feels like doing something dumb. Oh, he is hostile. Hmm. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> All right, we'll deal with him. Are you kidding me? Oh. All right, everybody, get to healing. My word. All right, that guy packs a hard punch, and our team can't help but shooting each other in the back of the head. But there's no better way to get better at crossbows than shooting in close quarters, so... It is what it is. And there we crest the hill into fertile valleys. Man, it really is a bummer that, like, every single faction in this entire world is just awful for some reason or another. <laughs> Holy Nation Land, home of the race-mad religious zealots. Who is saying that? Is that Thinly? Sure. Truer words never spoke Thinly. Anyone different to them, they attack in the name of their god. All right, we're passing by the Holy Mines, but there's nothing in there other than a slave shop. Why are we here again? <laughs> well, we're going to try to head north. And we fear no holy nation. Famous last words. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's where we're going to leave it. We managed to explore the border zone and see just how bad things are getting with the Dust Bandits, Raiders, and Reapers. A situation that I imagine we probably had a hand in creating by destabilizing that region, removing the Dust King as we did. We are in the middle of pushing north... And when we come back, we're going to continue doing just that. We're going to make our way through the Holy Nation territory, and very likely we'll send some scouts into their major cities just to see what things are like in there. We've got people who are very much wanted in this region. We also have skeletons and women who are not welcome. But we do have a handful of Greenlander men who might be able to scout out this region a little bit for us as we make our way through. Well, we will do those things in the next episode, so subscribe for more Kenshi, and I'll see you next time.